Hi there, I'm Peter Russell from supertax.ca. Welcome to another one of my video blogs. Today's topic is on the line 235, Social Benefit Repayments here in Canada. Brief and general understanding. Now this topic is best described and explained to you in an example, which I'm going to do in a sec, but let me describe the situation here. Let's suppose we have a Canadian individual who receives employment insurance benefits or receives the old age security pension, or maybe he receives both. Well, if his net income is in excess of the clawback threshold for each of these benefits, he'll have to repay some of those social benefits received. Now, I'm going to show you this in an example. Let's go to the board. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos, you're probably familiar with my board now. Social benefit free payments. Now, let's assume our individual, we're going to give him a name. His name is Jim, and Jim is over the age of 65. He's received $81,200 of income, and it's going to be made up of the following components. $15,000 in investment income, $20,000 in employment insurance benefits, $6,200 in old age security pension and forty thousand dollars in employment income eighty one thousand two hundred dollars now that amount is definitely in excess of the employment insurance threshold which is equal to forty four thousand two hundred times one point two five which is actually fifty five thousand two hundred fifty if you make that calculation it's also in excess of the old age security clawback, which for 2011 is $67,668. So to do this calculation, we do the employment insurance clawback first. So what we do is we take $81,200 less the threshold times 1.25, which works out to $29,000, uh, sorry, $25,950. Then we got the $20,000 employment insurance. Whichever number is lower, $20,000, we must repay 30% of. So 30% of $20,000 is $6,000. That is a social benefit repayment on behalf of the employment insurance. So let's put that aside by now. Now we got the old age security clawback we must calculate. We start with our $81,200. We must deduct what's already been accounted for as a social benefit repayment, $6,000, giving us $75,200. Now, I, must, I also must suggest that in real life, there would be additional adjustments made if they were in this example. They are not. That would be any income received by the universal child care benefit or any income received by the registered disability savings plan income. If you had any of those, that would also be factored in this calculation, but for this example, we don't. So let's assume that his that for the old age security clawback, that his threshold difference, 75,200 less the 67,668, is going to work out to $7,532. We must then take 15% of that. That is the social benefit repayment on behalf of the old age security. That works out to $1,129. I hope you can read that. We add the $1,129 total repayment plus $6,000. 1129 plus $6,000 equals $7,129. That is what would be reported on line 235 as a social benefits repayment deduction on your T1 income general tax return. Now, we must also reflect on line 422 of your T1 general Canadian income tax return the same amount because that is what is actually being paid on top of your calculated federal and provincial income taxes. So at the end of the day, the taxpayer would be paying his federal tax, he would be paying his provincial tax, and he would be paying his social benefits repayments. Okay, I hope you found this video informative on social benefit repayments. Uh, it's quite a complex, complex calculation, but if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a comment below. 
or you can send me an email at peter at supertax.ca. Thank you very much and have a great day.